So last week, Remnant from the Ashes Leto's Lab update came out, which added a new boss, a new mod, a new armor set, which, <laughs> full disclosure, I've not been able to roll yet in my world on Xbox <laughs> like 17 times. Like, they gotta fix that. I mean, that seriously, that is annoying. Well, anyways, last week they also did an AMA on Reddit, which the devs at Gunfire answered a bunch of different questions from the community. Hey guys, this is Chris with BMB Gaming. Welcome back, and I hope you're doing awesome today. Thank you for taking the time to check out this video, and thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments. Definitely appreciate it, and especially your likes and shares really help me out because YouTube is really weird right now. But like, videos seem like they don't get out the subscribers, and like they're not getting recommended. So just taking a second to hit that like button definitely helps me out, and definitely helps out other YouTube creators as well. Now to start with guys, I've made a list of all the different questions and answers and I'm going to do my best to kind of paraphrase the different questions and answers. I'm going to leave a link to the AMA in the pinned comment below if you want to check it out for yourself. There might be a few I missed here. I, like I said, I did my best. It's actually a lot, <laughs> a lot of work going through all those questions. So anyways, we'll start out. My first category here is content. The first question was about the long-term roadmap and does Remnant have a big enough community to support DLC? And the first reply was that Remnant is big enough to support DLC, but the thing is it doesn't have microtransactions, so it doesn't have a continual revenue stream. So right now that's why they're focusing on really perfecting the game and making sure it runs as smoothly as possible. So new players who pick up the game will, you know, have a great experience so, you know, more people will buy the game. Another part of that question was how are these content updates going to be delivered as far as big ones and small ones, what's going to be in them? And Gunfire's answer was that they're doing big and small updates and the big updates will have new biomes, so new worlds like Ruined Earth and new weapons, new mods, new traits, and new bosses. The small updates will have new modes to play, new balance tweaks, new performance improvements, and also fleshing out previously visited areas. So for example, fleshing out Swamp more, so adding more dungeons to Swamp because it's you know kind of bare and they agree with that. Another question was about expanding the lore and story of Remnant. And the dev's answer was that we've only seen Ward 13, 16, and 17. And their question was, what's in the other wards? What about the other worlds, the Dreamer, the Guardians, etc.? So it sounds like they have a bunch of plans as far as expanding out the universe of Remnant. Another user had a question about Horde mode, an endless dungeon, rifts or greater rifts like Diablo 3. Gunfire answered and said that they want to add new ways to play Remnant from the Ashes. And their current idea that they're kind of iterating or playing around with takes like a horde mode or an endless dungeon mode, but adds certain twists to it. But they said time will tell, so it sounds like they're still, you know, iterating with it and seeing if it'll work out. Another community question was, how do they plan to spread out the content? So as far as the guns, the mods, the traits, how are they going to be adding them into Remnant? Here again they said they plan on having frequent balance and performance updates while also planning for much larger content drops. Another community question was the possibility of adding a raid or raids to Remnant from the Ashes. And here they answered and said that a raid sounds really cool, but they're not sure how feasible it would be. Another really interesting community question was, will we be able to create our own world slash scenarios to share with our friends? Here the devs responded and said this is a great idea and it depends how Remnant does as far as continued sales and DLC sales go. Another community question was about Steam Workshop and if they're going to support it in the future and the devs responded and said that they haven't talked about that yet. Another community question was will there be difficulties above Nightmare? Here Gunfire responded and said that they'll most likely be infinitely scaling difficulties at some point, and that the challenge isn't creating the infinitely scaling difficulties, but ensuring that players are rewarded for their efforts. Another community question was when can we expect the first DLC, so the big content drop. Here Gunfire said that they don't have any official dates on the first DLC yet, but they can definitely say that they have additional content plans 
for the short term, mid term, and long term. Another community question was regarding endgame content. Here they ask, has the team considered some sort of rewards that incentivize clean restarts, kind of like seasons in Diablo 3? Now here they reply and say, yes we have, with an exclamation point. Now I'm not sure if that means they're going to do it or not going to do it, but it sounds like they're thinking about it. Another community question was, are they going to be adding more weapon and weapon variety? And here Gunfire replied and said that they have heard player requests and they've heard it about adding a true bow, an LMG, an auto shotgun, a sawed off shotgun, and they agree that there is plenty of room to add more weapons to Remnant. Another community question asks about endgame content and have they looked at doing raids or maybe a rotating permadeath dungeon that has skins as a reward. And here Gunfire replied and said absolutely they want to add more endgame content so that people can keep enjoying Remnant, but they also said they want to make sure that there's plenty of content for people to play that are still maxing out their characters. Another community question asked about recent updates making the game quite a bit easier, and how are they going to balance this with new difficulties? Gunfire replied and said that they're currently doing a rebalance of everything in the game, so mainly armors and enemy damage, and once they finish with that, they're going to be able to rebalance normal hard and nightmare difficulties and be able to add future difficulties and challenges. And the last community question that I labeled into content, I'm going to go ahead and read the full thing because I think he's got some cool ideas here. He starts out and he says, any plans of having hard nightmare difficulties, reward exclusive items slash skins, etc. And Gunfire replied and said they don't have any specifics right now, but there are definitely plans for rewards for completing more challenging content. The second part of the community question, he says, also harder difficulties, maybe that don't rely on damage and HP multipliers, adding mechanics, spawning more enemies, elites, restricting resources, etc. And here Gunfire replies and says that additional mechanics for harder difficulties is something we have been talking about as well. Things like enemy aggression, more affixes, perhaps even affixes on entire biomes or more elites, all stuff they've been thinking about. Now personally this is something I really hope they will do, that difficulty won't just be, you know, more damage, less health for us, they do more damage, have, you know, bullet sponges, everything else, but they actually add more complexity to the game as the difficulties increase. I'm really, really hoping they do that. I think that's what makes Remnant really special. Now the next section I made I called features and I put down the different features that people ask them about. The first community question was, will we ever see a performance mode on PS4 Pro slash Xbox One X that allows 60 frames a second, maybe at 1080p? And Gunfire replied and said they have talked and looked at it and that we shouldn't rule it out. So <laughs> that's kind of an interesting reply. Another community question was regarding loadouts. Are they going to add that feature into the game where we can save certain armor sets and trinkets and everything else? Here Gunfire replied and said it is something that is frequently requested internally and externally, but they also said that it's something that would take a lot of time and energy, and that instead they've talked about it maybe adding a favorite icon that would move gear up to the top of the inventory, but they haven't ruled out adding a loadout feature in the future. Another community question asked, will they update the character creator for more greater variety of looks? And they also ask, will they add the option to change your look after creation? Here Gunfire replies and says basically they're unsure about this and that if they did this they would have to implement some kind of barbershop system where you could, you know, change your look during the game as you're going through. And basically they said that, that right now they have other higher priorities. But again, don't rule this out down the road. A similar community question to this is will there be more variety of armors with similar perks. Here Gunfire replied and said that they've talked about it, but they're not sure if it would be cosmetic or a different variant of the same armor. And a similar question to this was basically, will they be adding emotes? And Gunfire's reply was, maybe. So 
I would assume that's kind of confir <laughs> confirmation that we're going to get emotes at some point here. And I'm like, hey, I'm down for that because, you know, you just had a boss fight that you just got annihilated on 10 times in a row and you just finally barely beat him. Yeah, it's time to dance a little bit. Another community question was, will they ever add something like a target dummy into War 13 where we can test damage, etc.? And Gunfire replied and said it seems possible. Another community question was, will they add customization for existing slash future equipment, so different dyes, etc.? Here Gunfire replied and said, all we can say at this point is, maybe. Another community question was about adding the adventurer's helmet and his sword. So right at the beginning of the game when you get off the boat, you have that set of armor and that sword. They're asking, you know, are they ever going to add that as something we can use in the game? Here Gunfire replied and said that both of these are highly requested and they likely will be added in a future update. Another community question was, will we be able to toggle on and off our helmet and remove our backpack? And will they be adding more cosmetic options? Here Gunfire replied and said that we've heard the feedback and it's on the list. Another community question asks, can we have a great sword? Here Gunfire replied and said, if you believe hard enough, <laughs> anything is possible. So yeah, great sword confirmed. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What are your top three things that you want them to add to Remnant? For me, obviously, I want the big stuff. I want the biomes, <laughs> new weapons, new traits, new bosses. And I touched on this earlier about adding more mechanics to harder difficulties, not just making the enemies more bullet spongy, do more damage, but actually add in more elites, have elites kind of work off of each other so you have an elite that's buffing another elite or something, something really cool, interesting. I think that's what Remnant does really, really well. But one caveat with this, and I think back to Destiny 1, when it first came out, probably up to Crota, and after Crota, in my opinion, it kind of went downhill. But up to Crota, that game was exceptional, I think. I, and I agree, it probably should have had more content. And there were certain things that weren't as done as they probably should have been. But if you go back and you play the Vault of Glass raid, you even play Crota's raid, there's a lot of complexity, a lot of different mechanics in there that remind me a lot of Remnant from the Ashes in that there's a lot of deep thought to that game. Now one thing I'm hoping they avoid here is that there's such a rush to put out content that we start getting just kind of generic, kind of bullet spongy enemies that really don't have deep mechanics to them, they're just there. Well the thing I'm hoping is that they avoid that with Remnant because I'm sure the temptation is going to be that let's pump out this content as fast as we can but it's going to take a little bit more time for them to make sure that all these enemies have good mechanics to them, that there's deep thought into this gameplay, and we get more of what we obviously all really enjoy.